morning. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's Tuesday, November 1st, and this is the Education Committee. Uh, we do have Chairman Suara, Cash, Drofo, Hancock, Porterfield, Sepulveda, and Stiles. So we have a quorum. Uh, we only have uh, one bill before us, but before I do the one bill, I want to thank Councilmember Cash for accepting to be the vice chair for this committee. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And so we have BL 2022-1511, Sledge, Roten, Suara, and others, approves the lease agreement between the Metro Board of Education and Connexion Americas. Can I have a motion? A motion. Second? Second. Properly moved and seconded. Any discussion? We also have a letter to approve from the uh, oh, sponsor. Yep. So, is this, can, ne, what is the nature of Connecting in America leasing space from the Metro Board of Education? Yes, this is for the Head Start program. And so when you go into Connection, they have a space in there for the Head Start program. And I was actually talking to someone yesterday how most of the kids in Southeast are being bused all the way from Southeast, all the way some to, to North Nashville. I used to be oh, on wow. the Metro, I used to be on Metro Action Commission and we tried to get a head start in that area for a long time, but this is part of the solution. So there is a head start space inside Connexion Americas. Mm -hmm. nice. And so that's what this space that's is for. Good idea. Excellent. So wait, like so wait, solution? so it's- <laughs> No, not big enough, not a solution. <laughs> so wait, it's, it's in Connexion? It's in, in Connexion. So uh, MNPS is leasing. So MNPS space. is the one leasing, leasing space, from not connection. the other way around. Okay. Okay. I thought it was the other way around <laughs> yeah, also. Yes, yes. Unless I read it wrong, but that's what I believe it is. Well, that makes <laughs> there's sense. No, there's no need for a uh, uh, connection to lease from MNPS. It's the other way around. Got it. Further discussion? Mm, All great. right. Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstention? Oh, one abstention. Six four zero against one abstention. Thank you. Uh, before we adjourn, I just wanted to say that I'm excited about this committee this year. Uh, we typically don't have much to talk about, and we rarely have meetings. But I'm hoping that we could do some things different this year. And so, one of the things that I would like to do is probably invite members of the MMPS board to give a report to us probably every quarter. Uh, we give them the budget; they have the money come and talk to us in terms of what they're doing, where they are, how they're spending it. I think it's important for us to see, I'm curious to see the money that we gave to, to make up the loss from enrollment for, from the uh, calculation. Sure. Did they make it up? Did the enrollment go down? Did it go up? I think those are some of the things that I would like for us to be talking about. And I've talked to them about having somebody come, so we'll do that. The other thing that I'm also hoping we would do, and I put this on the Bank the Table website, so if you can please go read it and put your comments. Uh, I would love to be able to establish a student legislative day uh, through council where we actually have MMPA students or students in the community private school also uh, come in and meet with us, uh, learn what we do, uh, act as council members for a day. Uh, it will be akin to the junior achievement um, city for a day or, or something like that and then we'll get the student to come here. We talk about how we don't teach civics in school anymore. This is an opportunity for them to meet the elected officials, talk to us, know what it's about, and get them interested from a very young age. Uh, so it's an idea. Uh, it's just to get us started. So I put the, it on bank the, the, the table. The Oasis Center has the youth group. The youth group. They have the mayor youth council. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figure they would be a good group to start with if we're trying to build something like that. I, I, think, they, I think they, they would be the, the best group to start with. Uh, but um, I don't know how much time we have, and I don't want to take a lot of time, but I want to put the idea out there, uh, if you can put your thoughts on bank the table. And if there's some other things that you think we should do, uh, I would like that. Yes, Council Member Stiles. Thank you, Chair. I, actually, I was going to make a suggestion in regards to education. I know that we had some conversations um, regarding daycare, yes. and, and so United Way is working on a, a blueprint of what that can look like for the future. It would be really great to have the individuals that are a part of that group to perhaps come and present and let us know what a pre-K uh, program is starting to look like and their research. I would like that. Okay, uh, Council Member House? Yes, you mentioned the bang the table. And yes. how do we know if things have been posted? Or do we just, because I know I've posted things on there, but nobody knows. Yeah. So there needs to be some, <laughs> yeah. needs to be some way that we know uh, there's, there's a there should be a bell. Yeah. There is no notification 
option. The only way to get notified is if you post something, you can get notified on who replies to you. So or you can turn off that notification. Or you, oh, right, you have to opt into that. <laughs> you know, you have to opt into that notification. We don't have a general notification for yeah, you know, know every I've, time something's posted. So when so when somebody like this say she's posted something, I had no idea there was anything right. posted. I mean, the so only would thing, she need to like yeah. so say, would stay you send out a notice and let people know? That's them? the thing is we. are so as we're kind of hoping that as Bang the Table just gets a little bit more use, that it'll just become kind of second nature that you'll get on there and you'll check and see what's posted. I don't know that that we're going to be able to to send a mass email every single time somebody posts yeah, because, right, you know, I, I just don't know that that was yeah. really easy. I just know it seems M- like maybe for no now, idea. if somebody starts a conversation, like a conversation maybe they can then send it. Or you could just something. send out a tweet and it, and it just yeah, says, that, bang the table. You can, you, can, <laughs> <laughs> so you can post on your social media that you've posted to bang the table. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. fine. That's good. On the other education, what we did a couple years ago, we had them pick three items that they were going to highlight on their budget. You remember about two years ago, mm-hmm. and that went, that went really well, where we had education committee, mm-hmm. and actually a lot of people, about 12, 15, would come in, and we heard, you know, you know, you know so SEL, you know, and what to do, um, and what they were going to do, and what they needed for, mm-hmm. which by the time we got to budget, then we understood the, the underlying premise of what they were doing. So I, that could be pretty good. It was They focused on one or two things. Teacher pay was one of them. Uh, so it, 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 that worked out really well. It's a good idea. And so as a mom of an elementary school student, the changing of the grades is a really um, big issue right now. So for those of you that don't know, last year about one-third of Metro Nashville Public School elementary schools held fifth grade um, and switched from PK to four to PK to five. Mm -hmm. This year, two-thirds have fifth grade. So it's PK to five at two thirds of our schools. Next year, almost all will have PK to five. And then in 2024, all will have PK to five. And then the middle schools will stop having fifth grade at that point once all of them have moved back. So I think it would be good to um, maybe invite some of the school board or Dr. Battle in to talk to us about that transition and how that may affect classes at different middle schools and things. And I think the idea that I had was that we will let them know that we want them to attend our meeting on a regular basis. So whatever that, whether it's every quarter, every two months. So once we establish that schedule, then we can come up with what do we want to discuss every time they mm-hmm. But I want them to get into the habit of we have a meeting with the school board, uh, with the education committee right. this often. So, yes, sir. That's uh, I think you've got some great ideas here. I would uh, point out that sometimes we should hear from like Dr. Battle and her lieutenants, um, you know, the, the central office leadership. And sometimes we should hear from elected school board members because mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. they set the policy. And sometimes I think we should build a relationship with them that's mm-hmm. not separate from, but that's yeah. Yeah. We could do different like from odd months, even months. Even, okay. and, and also, um, I had a great meeting about a month, three weeks, a month ago, with Robert Wallace, the new um, He's a good guy. The mayor's yes. office of <laughs> major's education liaison, or that's not the right word. Youth, his, uh, education liaison. Yeah, yeah. great guy. Uh, he, he might be. He came in council, so he's got to get yeah. him. He's a good guy. I, yeah. He's really yeah. smart, very, very genuine. Um, pencil. Oh. Yeah. So I think I, I like it. If you all are not opposed to it, then we can tell the uh, council office that we want to have an education yep. committee meeting every time we have a meeting. Even if it's just 15 minutes, it doesn't have to be something yep. uh, spelled out, but we just have different people come and talk to us uh, uh, so that we're well informed. I like the idea of the, the uh, central office, uh, Board of Education, MNEA, the mayor's uh, liaison, the, uh, the youth council. I mean, so there's so many, and I think yeah. The more we, we have those conversations, mm-hmm. I think the more we'll understand action Parents Action Committee. I think, but look, that's the whole year right there. Looks as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> And I think it, we're better informed about what everybody else is doing. It will not just be when they need money, only that they're talking to us. And so I, I'm glad um, everybody's on board. Uh, thank you all so much.
uh, use the bank the table because I like the bank the table. So go put your ideas on bank the table so everybody sees that we have all those wonderful ideas there too. Uh, and and, and start early, uh, Chair, because when we did this, it took us a while. Um, we met with uh, Chair Bugs at the time, the school board, and she helped us organize the, the three or four oh, meetings. Oh, I started already. I already told them. <laughs> yeah, so I, I uh, that's perfect. And then um, Aaron and I did that, and then we met with those, and they, they set it all up for us. Well, and are you suggesting that be during our normal committee meeting time, or those be special meetings? Because if we're going to do more than 15 minutes, that needs to be probably outside of this meeting time. Yes. I, I, uh, what I have in mind um, is just to put it out to everyone and say we want to do this. If we can do some things within the 15 minutes, that would be my preference. Mm -hmm. So because we have so many other things that we're doing right. outside, it's more of an update. Uh, mm -hmm. that maybe even we can get them to send us information beforehand if they want to, or maybe we can also follow up. Um, I don't want to add to any more that we're doing, but that's a start. And if we need to have a special call meeting for, for yeah. something, something, then bigger, we'll do yeah. that. But we don't want to do it for all of them every time. I, I, okay. I don't know if you all have that capacity <laughs> afterwards. So, so, but if it, if it works, I think maybe we can have uh, somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of stuff like uh, Mr. Wallace to come next <coughs> meeting. He should, be, he should be able to talk to us in 15 minutes. And then the one that would take a longer time, maybe like the school board or Dr. Barrow, we might do a special meeting for them if that works for everybody. But share all of your ideas. Uh, you find uh, a new thread on Bang the Gavel that we can respond to? To, get, uh, to, to put those, you say you want to put the ideas on Bang the Gavel? It's already on there. Okay. I already started the thread. Okay. And so you all just need to go. It's under the education committee. That's where ideas for the education group okay. or something. So you can add to that. Uh, Miss Zeichlin, the other thing is that I saw where you could tag people. I don't think it's been, um, what is the word I'm looking for? You cannot do it yet. But I think it would be good to look into whether we can tag so that if I post something and I tag everyone, maybe then they will get the notice. Yeah. So, so I said tag people. I tried to I tag. I couldn't know do that it. That is a function that it has, but mm -hmm. I will definitely get with IT and, and mm -hmm. let you know. It, it has it there. It said, "Who do you want to tag?" I just couldn't tag anybody. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll we'll look into that and see if we're able to maybe that's extra launch money. it. I was going to say. Exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> Maybe it's extra money. Know, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, the, that's the kicker. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh, hopefully out. not. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you all so much. Uh, if there's no further comment, discussion, conversation, then... Um, I'm trying to figure out, do you remember how we even get to it? Then we, uh, we're adjourned. Thank, thank you. Thank you.